Chase Hero, imagine a boat that could be the future of sports boats. This catamaran may not look extraordinary at first, as has a similar design to other motor models and competitions. However, what sets it apart is its ability to reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour without using any gasoline. Instead, it runs on hydrogen fuel cells provided by Toyota, the same ones used at the Toyota Mirai. The catamaran is electric, with engines producing 295 horsepower. It's 33 feet long, 15 feet wide, and weighs 10,500 pounds. Surprisingly, it took only nine months to design, build, and launch. Cooper Ranger. The Cooper Ranger is an electric crossover scooter or dirt bike, depending on your preference. It features a reclining seat suitable for riders of any skill level. Professional motorcycle racer Justin Hill even expressed his preference for the Ranger, stating he would use it daily on a single charge. In maximum power mode, it can cover about 19 miles with the option to double that range for an extra fee. The top speed is 50 miles per hour, and the scooter weighs 110 pounds with a payload capacity of 220 pounds. An optional compact trailer is available for carrying an additional 66 pounds of cargo. Von Rossier Rosa meet the sports hovercraft developed by the Von Rossier team, available for pre-order at a price of approximately $100,000. This two-seater model is equipped with a patented control system, allowing it to hover at a height of around 18 centimeters. It can accelerate up to 50 miles per hour on water, with an overall speed limit of about 75 miles per hour. The hull incorporates automotive, marine, and aerospace engineering, including the use of carbon fiber. Given the increasing number of people in high-risk flood zones by 2030, hovercrafts may become a necessity rather than just a luxury. Palve Liberty Pioneer Edition, dream of a flying car? The Palve Liberty Pioneer Edition aims to fulfill that dream. Designed for two people, it weighs 1464 pounds, reaching a top speed of 99 miles per hour on the road and 112 in the sky. With a maximum range of 311 miles, it requires both a driver's license and a pilot's license to operate. The project faced initial skepticism, but gained access to European public roads in 2020. Two models, Sport and Pioneer, are planned with approximate prices of $315,000 and $125,000. Exile Trike. Here's a custom motorcycle by the American Exile Cycles team based on the Black Pearl model, transformed into a trike. Unique upgrades include components taken from other vehicles, resulting in a one-of-a-kind motorcycle. The Hoosier rubber used in this project is notable, specializing in drag racing models. This customizable vehicle, available for $40,000, promises a smooth road experience without concerns with law enforcement. AWS 609 Act 4, introducing the world's first civilian converter plane by Augusta Westland. Designed for private excursions or emergency services, it can carry up to 12 passengers, flying at 25,000 feet. The converter plane boasts a maximum cruising range of 1151 miles and a maximum cruising speed of 311 miles per hour. Customizable options include VIP seats, a fully equipped bathroom, and medical rescue equipment. Delivery varies based on customer preferences. Ortega Submersibles for water-based recreation enthusiasts, the Ortega Submersibles offers a private submarine built by the Dutch team Chief Ortega. This unique submarine accommodates three people and can reach speeds of 10 miles per hour on the water and 13 miles per hour underwater. With a battery reserved for about 62 miles combined with a 130-gallon cargo compartment, it's suitable for both entertainment and work tasks. Inventist Ventimobile, students at the University of Stuttgart have created the Ventimobile, a wind-powered car. With a simple design featuring four wheels, a pilot capsule, a six kilowatt turbine, and a seven foot propeller, it weighs 221 pounds. Originally built for the Avalis Race wind-powered car race, the team welcomes support for further development. They have worked on an electromechanical hybrid drive and sponsors include companies in autonomous driving and future mobility. 
Mojet Board, the Mojet Board by the German team Mojet, offers a modular motorized surfboard experience. Its key feature is modularity, allowing quick reassembly into various configurations. Weighing no more than 38 pounds and measuring no longer than 37 inches, the board has a top speed of 40 miles per hour and enough power to tow up to 309 pounds. Suitable for vacationers, lifeguards, and coast guards, it offers 30 minutes of planing mode on a single charge, with a 75 minute charging time. Decaliner, created by American automotive artist Randy Grubb, the Decaliner is a unique motorhome resembling a UFO. Inspired by 1980s science fiction space travel and Art Deco architecture, it features a roof-controlled driving mechanism. The project used a 1973 Genk motorhome as its base, costing around $100,000 and taking 6,000 hours to complete. The motorhome was eventually sold for $500,000. U18 Spo. The U18 Spo is a vehicle combining features of an amphibious hovercraft and a ground effect vehicle. Transforming in 15 to 20 minutes with quick release wings, it can reach speeds of about 75 miles per hour and rise over 10 feet. Powered by a four cylinder car engine, it was developed in the US over 17 years, marketed as an entertainment vehicle for families. Afrida 6 of the Tesla of e-bikes, the Afrida 6 boasts front wheels with independent suspension, allowing a 40-degree tilt in turns. Phonable in one step and one second, the scooter can cover up to 50 miles on a single charge. Weighing 55 pounds with a maximum load capacity of 441 pounds, it can reach speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. Price starting at $2,000, it combines innovation, portability, and eco-friendliness. Carry Robot Hoverboard. The KRI Robot Hoverboard is a project by a South Korean team inspired by the hoverboards in Back to the Future. They created a prototype that could soon turn this fiction into reality. This hoverboard is designed for tasks such as carrying deliveries for the last part of a journey, like from a bus stop to your house. Although there aren't any details yet, the video suggests it operates similarly to a mini hovercraft and is powered by electricity. We're looking forward to more information and curious about how much it might cost.